podcast. I do not think this is a virus. I should be fine. If this shit was a virus, they would have... Okay. Let me make it so that you can see it. And then I'll have to go grab something so I can read the chat room. I have seen one shit post from about these guys. It's when one of the guys is yelling AIDS. Yeah. What the fuck is this music? How much booze? What? Is this how the music in the show in the in the on their web show is? Also, the R two D two robot that Rich Evans uh, jokingly had sex with. The fuck, man? Why is it a rainbow? Uh, good question. Gay porn? Probably. Oh, it's actually a script. Go for it. Fade in. Internal. Wisconsin warehouse. Late evening. Player. Age unknown. Hot but doesn't know it. Steps forward. Player. Cool normal guys said they'd be out pitching to nolan guess i got the place to myself wind driven snow twist outside the warehouse walls overhead the ac hums cozy the floor is well kept but a handful of props are for closer i asked for closer attention player continued well these vhs tapes aren't going to infect themselves i gotta kick them in the damn ball oh, god damn it <laughs> All right, guys, is it laggy or anything for you guys? Okay, I can use the controller, cool. Each box contains 12 packs of 300 delicious pepperoni pizza rolls. Total perfect for any prepper. USDA inspected and passed, 56.95 with free shipping. Ugh. Do they eat that call, many pizza rolls? If I get another phone call, I'm whipping that thing across the room. Who the fuck keeps calling you? Don't ask. Oh, I think uh, I know that. Uh, Tosino's pizza rolls. Yeah, that's a lot of pizza rolls. That's a lot of pizza rolls. Can I throw it? Yes, I can. Yes, you can. You can throw basically everything in there. Ooh, what's the VHS? Oh, oh, UPC code 666. I remember that. That's the one where it's the... Uh, it was the Christian video that they were t saying was, uh, they were trying to convince people that UPC codes were a sign of the devil. Are you serious? Yeah, that was actually a thing that they found. It was like one of those early 90s, like, Christian videos. What the fuck is that? Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. So I wonder if Oh, there's so many VHS tapes. There's so many VHS tapes. I'm trying to find where we actually put it. Uh, I, there, there should be shelving units somewhere in here. Uh, go to the other area. Oh, right here. Well, that's part of them. Accompanied by an 180... No, no, go back down. Shit, how do I make it... Oh. Accompanied by a book that the author, Reverend John Shepard, has continually revised through at least 2019. Not easily in Barris, he's currently predicting the rapture will occur at 11.45. <laughs> Finally, the rapture's coming. They actually made the model of the fucking of the VHS. Like, that's the exact model of the VHS. That is a lot of work. Oh, well, that that's gone now. Oh, that, that went into the head. Okay. I found it. <laughs> oh, it went behind it. Oh, well, fuck it. Oh, I know this movie. Fuck you. Oh, Mac and me. I think everyone oh, we knows. To, oh, we have to find them all. You get to collect 50 of them, so as long as you pick them up, it counts as it being collected. Bye. Get three. 
No, no, I want to set up. In this low blow. Place. I remember a low blow. Literally a guy that just punched people in the groin. He passed away. Oh, he just passed away. I feel like we've watched this. Uh, I haven't. Little Bigfoot. I remember that one, too. That's with, like, the really horrifyingly ugly little Bigfoot. That just looks like a midget in a fuck. It looks like an Ewok with, like, a mutant-looking face. Oh, God, they have that in light. They actually got the scan of it. Yeah, that's actually pretty impressive. Oh, and it has the side stuff on it, too, because half the time when they get these VHSs, they're, like, donated from people. So they have, like, names on them. They're, like, scribbled out and shit. Oh, that it's so is impressive. Stupid. It's so stupid. I know you can throw the beer bottles and break them. When in doubt. <laughs> that that thing really went. Yeah. Why are there so many of these? Uh, because they keep getting sent them. So, Vampire Assassin, the dude on the cover isn't even in the movie. What? They literally put it out as they put they made the cover to make people think it was Blade, and that character is not in the movie. Wow. This looks fucking terrible. Oh, it is. It's it was in a best of the worst episode. All these so VHSs. people literally just send it now to torture them. No, they ask people to send them bad movies to review. No, no, I meant the vampire. Ones. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you just broke all those. Oh, no, no, come back. It's very easy to throw things. Uh, oh, kids in airbags. I remember that one. That was on the best of the worst. Holy shit, that's a cover? Yeah, that's a cover, because it's not, it's not an actual movie. It's like one of those, like, uh, safety film things. So it's like an infomercial type deal. Kitty commotion. This sounds like a porn. Okay, never mind. Nope, it's literal cats. Seven cute, cuddly kitties. The wrestling romp, exploring, lounge, and play. It's literally just a cat video in VHS form. That's how you send your cat, cat insane. And they have all the kitties. The kitties are cute. We're trained stunt kitties. Oh, okay. No, you go away. Oh, Hanging with Leo, the unofficial uh, Leonardo DiCaprio biography that they reviewed, where it was literally just, like, a dude following him around with a camera and then random women talking about how they wanted to fuck him. That is so weird. Yeah, no, it was completely unofficial, and I'm pretty sure all those people got sued. Good, fuck them. Um, uh, yep. Hard Ticket to Hawaii. I remember that one, too. That was the uh, 70s, like, girls in bondage type thing, if I remember correctly. Oh, sorry, 1987. I stand corrected. Well, it was a, it was a, yeah, everybody's in Hawaii. It was like Magnum P.I. mixed with, like, like a ninja movie. <laughs> this is uh, a demo, so they are working on a full thing. That would be kind of fun if they actually did a full thing. Oh, there's one on the chair. Uh, 20th Anniversary Garrett's Hall Follies. I don't remember this one. This whole, you, this whole bit tape is on YouTube, if you like. It seems I know like elderly I, people doing singing yeah. and light comedy, which is yeah. fine. I, expect I know they need, uh, elderly people. I know they need, they have, uh, also they have Neil Breen movies on here. Somewhere. Oh, fucking wonderful. Do you even know who Neil Breen is? Yes, I do. They are the re half the reason why he's as popular as he is. Future Force with David Carradine where he has the robot hands. He just <laughs> Cutie for bitty tiny gun. For whatever reason, he has a robot hand. Yeah, that guy has like a machine pistol thing. Because Future. Yep. They really like pizza rolls, yeah. don't they? Well, the joke so is uh, those are, I believe those are antidepressants. Uh-huh. Mr. Plinkett. Oh, Rich <laughs> Evans. Your diabetes, diabetes medicine. medicine. <laughs> no refills. Metformin. 
Doctor authorization required. Oh god. Use before. Oh, Doctor Stuck Mike Staklasa, who's the other guy on the show. It's like because that's a joke. Do they all say that? Uh I don't know. I'm trying to get him. Yep. Uh yeah, they all say that. Unless they say something else horrible and that's just like oh, it. Oh, I... <laughs> all I did was walk near it. Oh, bottle opener. High quality bottle opener. Possibly no longer available for purchase. Best of the worst. But I remember they had the best of the worst bottle opener. That was funny. Oh, manners. Who needs them? I remember that. That's the instructional video on proper table manners. I'm going to have to find this YouTube channel. Red Letter Media? Yeah. I haven't actually... Yes. I, I need to go check them out. It's, it's, it's not hard to find. They got I like... Know. They got millions of subs, I think, now. You can examine the beer bottles. I'm not sure what's on the beer bottles. New Glarus Brewing Company. Oh, it's an actual beer. Oh, that's neat. And now it goes to wine. Fuck you, beer bottle. But why? Uh, because Mr. Plinkett does random things. It's a beautiful day and the great day for No Brand Con 2011 here at the Plaza Hotel in EAU Claire, Wisconsin. Check out some anime. <laughs> Pick up some manga. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, but I don't remember that one. I don't remember Midnight Signals. I think it was Sunset Blood and Freak Night. Video game. Yeah, I don't remember that one offhand. Like there's also a whole, there's another one. Oh, it's uh, Getavan. The fuck? Because they, they they jokingly called it Getavan because they didn't put a space between get and even, so the name of the movie is Getavan, and the guy who directed it wrote it and stars in it, and he's a terrible actor. I feel like he also does porn. Ah, uh, no, he does not. He probably is like a real estate agent. I know Ishtar. Yep. Ishtar. Dustin Hoffman. Isabella and Warren Beatty. Oof. Yeah, that was a low point. They fucking covered a Sahara. Another one. Everything goes blind. That's literally what happens at every. Oh, like I know Miami this movie. Connection. We've seen that one. Yep. This is where I saw it first, or where I saw it, uh, where I I was made aware of it. What do you have for me this time? What is on the Tom TV? Can I duck? Is that a Neil Breen movie? No, it's Ishtar. Oh. Somebody in the chat goes, God damn it, I liked Ishtar. Mm. There's a sticky note on that table, too. To your right. Yeah, I can't check. I can't click it. Oh, I should let you pick that up. I think that's all the VHSs that are in here, other than, like, the seven different copies of Vampire Assassin. I'm stuck. I can't. I'm stuck crouching. Does the button not work? Nope, now it go. works. A little bit, little bit iffy on the buttons. Let's see here. Oh, it's Rich's workshop. Space Cop Two, faster, more intense reboot. Is there gonna be a second one? Uh, I doubt it. It took them a long time to get that first one made. Oh, I remember this. Body wrap. Portable rhythm and sound machine. Literally the 90s, 90s I've ever 90s. Yep. Oh, that shit. 101, 101. Oh my god, I think I actually had this book. I think I remember that being in a library. Oh, Remlazar! I can see the cover to Remlazar. No, oh, that's Galaxy, uh... Oh, that's the cover. Yeah, the cover. Well, the cover's on the computer. Um, Man, they really go blind. No, that that's Rem Lazar. That is an acid trip of a fucking movie. A kid has an imaginary friend called Rem Lazar, who at the end of it turns out to be real, and it, it's very very bizarre. That's he, like, something we gotta watch. To, he, like, he teaches people how to sing and dance. It's really weird. 
Shockma. Shockma. I love I Shockma. So do I. Fuck, I love this movie. They keep God trying to make that Roddy poor McDowell. monkey look scary, and you just want to pet yep. it. Roddy McDowell. Shockma. Acetone. Because they they did a couple of things where when they did best of the worst, sometimes they would act. If a movie was so bad, they would destroy it on camera. And one of the times they actually put the VHS tape in acetone and they, they sped it up so it would dissolve. Damn. Uh, they, there's a joke that Rich Evans, like, routinely gets heartburn, so he just chugs Tums, like, every day. So welcome, new person. We talk about a lot of different things. There's fucking beer everywhere. Uh, Jesus, how yep. drunk are they during this? Uh, half in the bag is literally just about them being shit-faced and watching movies, and usually, best of the worst, they're also drunk. They also have a comically large flask there, yep. Yep, that's the space cop uh, R2-D2 thing that Rich Evans fucked. Why? Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's the uh, that's the Tower of uh, Black Spine editions. Oh, no, that's all the tapes of Nuki that they have. Why do you people keep sending, I heard of Nuki? Nuki God, is how many terrible. People... Yeah, how many copies exist in this world that shouldn't? Uh, I think they have most of them because people kept sending them to them after they watched the movie. I don't think I remember that one. That is, um, too bad. The fucking thing still rapping. What the fuck is this? Uh, that is the set when they do review, which is when they go over like an older movie. That's the original Wheel of the Worst. Do they all make the sound effect from the game? Yes, they do. That's awesome. I love this. Oh, no, come back here. Come back here. So cute. And now it goes away. Where's the last one? Goomba! Uh, yep. yep, Goomba. Bye, Goomba. They have the original Wheel of the Worst. Which, uh... Oh, you can actually spin it. That's fun. City <laughs> Jump Dump Rejected. Because what they did was, at one point, they redid it so it was like a Wheel of Fortune type thing. And then they went back to this one as like a joke, but they like the whole thing was they fucking they pulled it out of a out of the dump because they like threw it out. Let me see, I'm gonna turn this up a little. Yeah. It is it is rather amusing. Uh oh. No no, no I want to keep playing. That's fun. Future Force. Future Force. Fuck. What does it say? Future Force. Oh yeah. Did he try to fuck it? Uh, no. Uh, it says at the bottom of his use is like a joke thing. I think it's Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. They did a good job modeling this. And it's gone. Damn, these things go flying. Oh, the space cop gun. Come back. Oh, we can't play with it until we found all the tapes. Um, oh, that's the, another wheel of the original wheel of the worst. Plinketto? Okay, so what you have to do is you gotta go to the top of the ladder and you gotta drop the ball, and that's how you play Plinketto. The other side of the ladder with the actual, okay, never mind. Can you get it? Oh, there's one up here. It's fine, I'll go the right way. Up. It's a video game, you shouldn't impede on my creativity game. Physics. Fuck your physics. That's how okay. you play Flanketto. Not really. It's still going. <laughs> Mother load. I vaguely remember that one. Mushrooms. He. Oh no, I do remember this one. This is about the guy who's like really, really, really obsessed with mushrooms for no reason. Can you interact with any? No, no, those are all the other videotapes that are also scattered around. Oh, Warmania, I remember that. Okay, so that is a terrible 
terrible like kids educational thing where it's just a lady who's really really obsessed with worms and she's just teaching people about worms but there are songs in the movie about worms that is sung by a very very terrible singer I know the AIDS joke, Minute Man. That one I do know because everyone's been using that online. AIDS! Especially now that certain YouTubers have come out with it. Blood, Blood Dead. Dead. I remember that movie. That's the one at the end where he blows the guy up. Spoilers. Actually... Cannibal Airlines. I don't remember that one. That sounds horrible and something we need to watch to continue our cannibal. I need to. I can't lose my cannibal record. Better than Miami. Can oh, there's a Neil Breen movie. <laughs> Star Wars holiday special. They did watch that at one point. They did a whole special on it. Um, I want Disney to release it just to watch the response. Just digitally remaster sure that did. shit. Uh, no, I don't think they they have. There's more over there that you can grab. I think. Oh, that's the new wheel. That's the one that they made that's like Wheel of Fortune. They call it the Wheel of Misfortune. <laughs> music. Yep, that's the music Okay, so none of these count. Oh! I, that, was, that was a good one. Uh, what the fuck is tree going on? Tree stand safety! It's incredibly boring, but the cover's awesome. Is it, was, is that man getting yeeted? Yeah, because you know what a tree stand is? Nope. For hunters, basically what it is is a little jack system. You put it around the uh, the trunk of a tree, and you can basically climb up the tree and sit there and wait for a deer to come under you, and then you shoot it. The jar! Okay, I do remember that one. Yeah, it's like a mutant thing. It's basically a basket case, but with a jar. Okay. Okay, that's how we oh, get now, it now. now. Okay, I guess it doesn't Holy do it. Holy shit, how many have they been sent to do this? Uh, you have very, they, they have such a catalog of fucking random shit. Are these pogs? No, this casino, okay. No. Hold on. Top <laughs> slot, spotting the best. Yep, that's about uh, spotting the best slot machines to go lose your money at. Oh, surviving edged weapons. That is an amazing shit show. Because all it is, is it's supposed to be a police instructional video. But they went way too far with it. Oh, Twisted Pear. Yeah, that's Neil Breen. Which is ironic is. because he actually doesn't publish them on VHS. Yep, Brian Bosworth and Stone Cold. He was a football player who tried to be an action star and sucked at it. Wizard Vigilante. I forgot that one exists. This looks terrible. Why haven't we watched it? Uh, I forgot that one existed. There's another one on the edge of the table there. Oh, there's one there. Undefeatable, yep, I remember that one. There we go. Can we head back there? Uh, there's one down below yeah, the I'm table. Yeah, I'm trying to get to it. Oh, no, it's fine. Oh, that's, uh, that's tree sand safety. There's definitely some more, because they have their, um... They have their fucking, like, storage room and stuff, too. Can't go to that one. Uh, I think you can go through that door, yeah. I think <laughs> we can't that. escape. That's locked. It has a padlock on it, though. You might be able to unlock it at one point. Oh. Oh, yep. Here's the uh, office set from Half in the Bag that they use on occasion. I think this might have been the old set. I know about exploding Explo varmints. Exploding varmints is fucking ridiculous. Ghost hunting, Ghost hunting for, dummies. for dummies. That looks like a fucking Half-Life character. I know it's a real person, but it just reminds me of a Half-Life character for some fucking reason. Oh, VCR repair. Because that's the whole joke when they do half in the bag. Is they're a VCR repair shop. So all they do is sit around and drink because nobody has VCRs anymore. Cyber Sex Internet. I forgot about that. That's supposed to be like the early 90s version of like, oh my god, you can look at porn on the internet. Who would ever do that? It's dirty. Except every day. Twinkies. Oh, the key lime slime Twinkies from Ghostbusters 2016. That sounds fucking nasty. Oh, it does. And they actually have <laughs> have one. What are you hiding over there? 
Oh, feeders! I forgot about feeders. Feeders is stupid. I'm seeing a pattern here. Yeah, no, but feeders is like, it, it's it's trash. It's like fucking terrible, terrible fucking trash. Uh, yeah, they're also massive Star Trek fans. Oh, like they would massive. be fun to talk. That's gone now. They they did like a whole review thing on the on the Picard episodes, and they just shit all over it. Deadly Prey, Deadly Prey is amazing. Uh, that is one of the dumbest action movies I have ever seen. And then they made a sequel that is called Deadlier Prey or Deadliest Prey, something like that. I forget what that one was. Nope, oh, that's Blood Deaths again. Except now we got the VHS for it. California Big Hunks. They oh, literally God. picked that one just so they could watch, just so they could say that Chris Every Evans one of them was. gay. They literally picked it just so Chris Evans would sit there and watch it. <laughs> oh, Chunky's Chicken. Oh, there's another Neil Breen movie on the shelf there. There's a bunch of them on that. Shopping Mall! Yep, Chopping Mall. They did one of those, which is, I love Chopping Mall. I was gonna say, that's a fun movie. It is. Um, Sam Colin is about to wrap up a long shift. Oh, Freak Night. I forgot about Freak Night. Freak Night. Super Freaky now. It was like a Gremlins thing. Yeah, I was trying to see which. Okay, it's dark. Hot stadiums one. Go on. By you go, buddy. Get out of here. Uh, let's There's see Cannibal Airlines. Cannibal Airlines. Alright, that's checked off then. And then the other one, I think, is another. Ne yep, that's the other Neil Brain movie. Double Down. I'm good. There might be one on top of that shelf as well. Nope, we got yeah. that one. That's. You know what about the one on the edge there? Hmm. Look this one? Up that, yeah. Nuki. Yeah. Really? Yep, we didn't get a point for Nuki before? No, because, uh, like I said, Nuki was on the other shelves, so I don't think he could. Oh, there's shit in there. Oh. oh my god! That is... Okay. Okay, so you need to understand this. They started a meme. I've so seen that, that image before. That is a meme image, but here is the thing. There is a story behind this. So, and it says it on the bottom, this strange artifact catapulted Julia Roberts to superstardom and ended Ellen DeGeneres' career, but no one knows where it came from or what it means. So, here's the joke. So, Ju uh, uh, Julia Roberts grew up in the Midwest, more specifically, I think, in Minnesota at the time. I, I can't remember if it was Minnesota or Wisconsin. It's one of the two. And she worked at this local place um, that was basically kind of like a Chuck E. Cheese thing. I forget what it was called. And the little kid in that uh, in that picture is Rich Evans, who's one of the people that's on Red Letter Media. And they turned it into a meme. And they showed this picture on the Ellen DeGeneres show to Julia Roberts, and she jokingly said that she thinks she was one of the people that had to go inside one of those suits. So I don't think it's actually been officially confirmed, but Julia Roberts might be in that suit. Haunted Polaroid. Oh boy, what do we got here? Faust! Oh, Faust! I remember Faust. Faust was stupid. The guy who wrote Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Did you open it in the other one? On lunch break, go fuck yourself. Yep. Thanks, that's management. The, that's <laughs> nope, I can only open that one. Okay, you only open the first one. Right, I think there might be a few other... Yeah, you might be able to go... Let me go this way. Definitely gonna. You definitely have to try. You, you're probably gonna be able to get into the storage room at some point. Hmm. We're still missing eight videos, unless they're literally talking about all of the vampire assassin. I'm gonna go touch another vampire assassin video. Nope. Bullshit. What the fuck? Uh, can you open the cabinet on the bottom there, on the right? Oh, it's all just broken glass. Oh, you can literally just throw the broken glass. Hmm. Uh, Art! Be <laughs> what? Okay. You the fuck went flying. Okay. Where could can the you other throw one? the chair? No. There's gotta be more VHSs in here. We're still missing eight. Hmm. 
got every in here. I think we got all of them in here. I'm just double checking. You do have all the ones in the middle of the table, so I don't know if any of those got mixed in, sorta. Of. That's Nuki. Yeah, Nuki. Okay, no, never mind. So they, they did this thing that they called so best of the worst was basically a thing where they took Oh the Oh, the silver foxes! I remember the silver foxes. It's all oh no, that's not silver foxes, that's the that's the Shoji Tabuchi show. Which is really weird. Uh, Silver Foxes was an exercise video made by uh, fucking like the the parents of celebrities. Oh, oh. Uh -oh. Can't open it. Nope. Can throw it. Fuck. Is there? I'm trying to think of where else. Unless you can pick some. I don't think any of one? these count. Uh, nope. no, they don't. You can find them someplace else on the set, I think. Hmm. Was there one? I think there was one at the base of the stairs. Might have been one you eat through. Oh. VHS tapes. Okay, it's just a blank VHS tape. For the Black Spine Edition. So they did a, um... They did a thing with normally with best of the worst. What they used to do is they would. Oh, there's more there. What is this? Oh, walking and movements designed to provide gentle weight based exercises. Oh God, I remember that. It's just it's a dance to fucking osteoporosis patients. Hmm. We just need five more. Yeah, they couldn't no. have put them up there. That would just be evil. No, I don't think they did. Are there any that are still on the table? Or no, there looks like there might be a couple that are behind the best of the worst. That's a bother. One there. The best one we got. Nope, we didn't get that one. Uh oh, things. Oh Jesus. Things. We've seen things. Wish we hadn't, but we oh, have. Yeah. I don't know if there's any on the other side, maybe. I'm drawing. Nope. I don't think there's any. Oh, there's a few that are on the top there, if you go back. To the V. V? Yeah, see that one that's sitting right there? Okay, that's the one that I threw. Nope, nope that's the one you threw. Okay. Alright, I think that... All the ones there. Pretty sure you threw that one. Big gay, huh? Big gay owl. Oh yeah, throw all those away. See if there's shit hidden back here. Fuck you, Tostitos. Do Paw Patrol game. I don't care if I'm a pig, just give me bacon. <laughs> I don't care if it's sick and awkward. twisted, it tastes fucking amazing. Look, if people tasted as good as bacon, you'd be eating people. Is it true? The next question I have is, do people taste as good as bacon? Because I might start eating people. We said damn right, mice pain is our entertainment. This is true. Hey, we'll do anything to enter- almost anything to entertain. I fix that. Goddamn drug addicted mice. Alright, so let's look around. Uh, so we have- I think we only have four that we haven't found. Um, actually, uh, hmm. Try turning on the TV. See what you can get to happen. Oh, we- oh, we just heard the game. It's still showing Ishtar. Nice! On the uh, the promo image, it showed Star Wars for some reason. I'm not sure why. Unless, oh, you know what? They probably Maybe removed it for copyright. Maybe if you have the, the VHS near it, it'll actually play the movie. Oh, let's try that. Hold on. Let's try this one. But, um, yeah. Can I pick up the TV? <laughs> We're trying to make it so we can see it easier. I swear. Right. 
if that's what you're doing. Uh, it's different. No, that's the, oh no, I know what that is. That's the fucking Worms video. That dude's just dancing. It's like a really shitty music video with that. That is something else. Yeah, so it must just change to a bunch of the different movies. The more you click it. Flip it. Oh, there's Star Wars, the holiday special. Come at us, Disney. I don't know if I'd invite that. Won't be the first time I've gone at, and got at it with Disney. It'll just be the funniest. Yeah. Disney, if you want to take credit for the Star Wars holiday special, I'd bring it upon us. Go for it. Because then we get to show proof that you are claiming ownership to that fucking trash fire. I mean, legally, they do anyway. I know they do. It would have been funnier if the contract went with uh, him said anything but that. Oh, I can get up here. Oh, God. Can you get up there? I'm going to try. Dang it. No. Skybox, why? Almost. Almost. Where could the okay. last movie I, be? I don't know. It's a good question. What the fuck is this? Oh. That's from Space Cop. That's the cryogenic things where the 1950s detective is when they thaw him out. The one that's played by Mike Stokasa. There's none hidden behind here. No. Is there? There's something on top there. Yeah, there's one on the edge. There's one of them. Rooter! Oh! Oh, God. God, I, I hate that. that movie. No, it's just Nuki. that there's one back there yeah it's that um oh galaxy, galaxy. Yeah, what about if you throw those boxes out there's one there with a oh that's a blast okay bye samus she's in a better place now If you've never really. seen it, it's a treat. Rift Tracks even did a video on it. Oh, there's one there in the corner. Is that one that was that? No, it's not. SOS. Oh, What God. the fuck I am I looking at? Uh, I, vaguely remember, I vaguely remember this one. Oh, is this the cult? Yeah, I think so, if I remember correctly. Alright, so we're only missing two now. Hmm. Nope, seeing that one. We are spending so much time on this. Well, we don't have to. It's a chat. I know, it's just I wanna use the gun. Yeah, it's the space cop gun. You wanna use it. Why are there Probably. so many damn cinder blocks? Where could that? It has reason. Okay. You're not against this. As long as you guys are having fun with it. That's all we really care about. Is there one hidden in here? Oh, that would have been perfect. No, that would have been so dickish. Yeah, that would have been a fun one. Where or where could the final one be? Hmm. It moved all the way. Yeah, no, it's not back there. The problem is, is we just started throwing them all over the room. So we don't know which ones we've already gotten. No, I can't grab that one. Let's see if I can get a better look up here. Yeah, that's the problem, is we fucking... We started, like, just throwing them randomly around the room, so it's probably... I don't think we're gonna be able to find all of them. Unless you can literally grab them off. That's what I'm gonna try to... <laughs> Never mind! Or, or you can just do that. I don't know what I did, but I you made things worse. You spun it too fast. 
and I don't think any of the ones that are uh, there it goes. Uh, and I don't think any of the ones that are on the wheels or the Funketo board count towards the total. I think they're just, they're just copies of ones you can already find. I'm gonna say we 100%ed this. I don't know. Yep, we screwed the pooch. Oh, I screwed the pooch on this one. Yep, no laser gun, I don't think. Mm, I'm gonna play with laser gun. Oh well. Maybe eventually we'll I come back you, to this. This is just I a wish demo. You could go so. into the, yeah, I wish you could go into the watching room. Because they don't let you. This is just like their workshop and their setup. Wait. That was dickish. Oh, Law Enforcement Guide to Satanic Cults. I remember that one. So we just need one more, right? It's just a guy, but yeah, it's just a guy bullshitting about, uh, it's, it's just a, literally just a guy, like, bullshitting about, like, knowing about Satanic Cults and, like, explaining how they work in, like, a police instructional video. Like, it's one of the stupidest things ever. And it's basically just like, oh, yeah. If you have Satanists, chances are they're also homosexuals. Like, I mean, minute, wow. Like, they literally say that in the video, which is why it's amusing. Found it! Space Cop! It's actually Space Cop. Yeah! I do need to get that movie on Blu-ray. Oh, boy. Fuck yeah! yeah. Literally a Star Wars blaster rifle. This oh, you can actually shatter it. What Wait, where's the? Shoot? Where was that locked door? I have an idea. Uh oh yeah, you can shoot the lock off of it. It's uh there, yeah. Yes. Is this a what the fuck? Oh, yeah, because there is Wisconsin. That's the out. That's the exterior shot they use for half in the bag. Do they actually have like a little place? Do they actually have a place? Yeah, they actually. Yeah, no, they actually have. It's like a warehouse basically where they do all of their stuff, and then uh, they also have like a watching room that's connected to it, so it's not just its own structure. That's um, neat. So they have like yeah, like they don't show it here. Why um, is there a door up there? That's a good question. Probably because there had to be a door up there because of the one from the inside. Go upstairs. This is, okay. This is yeah, this is. It won't let me go through the door. People I think you have to go outside and go to the, go to the light pole. The light pole over there. This is gonna get spooky. Oh, there's one more video. Yep. Can I drop this? Only there was a way to finally watch Night Court. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha it's fucking Night Court, god damn it. Do they like Night Court? Is there else out here, or is that, that it? No, that looks like that's it. I got my pew pew gun, I'm happy. That is a joke that they make a lot of the time. It's like, imagine if you could actually watch Night Court. Security being armed would be like giving a toddler a gun while drunk. What? We're booking it with the gun. It's ours now. Well, I mean, giving you a laser gun might be like that. I shoot everything that moves. Yeah, but the outside is definitely a joke. Is like whenever winter time rolls around, they're always like, "Oh yeah, Wisconsin, it's like negative four degrees until May." I bet you're gonna be happy not having to deal with that here. Uh, uh, yeah, no, the only thing we can do is the fucking summer. Oh, we'll let you get to the light to the phone poles. Oh God, we're oh. still going. Oh, there is a phone pole out there. For the people who wanted to see the gun better. 
Yep, that's the space cop gun. I liked space cop, it was dumb. It, it, it was a little rough around the edges. I think they were trying to do a little too much. I'm sure. Well, I mean, like everybody gets a little ambitious. I think no, it would be walking I mean, forever. No, but I mean, it's like the stuff that they're. Th this is what they should do, and this is the stuff that they're really, really good at when it comes to writing comedy. Is keep it short. Like if you did like a movie that was all just like these little comedy shorts, I think it would have worked a lot better because they're really good at those short little gags. Like the the funniest scene in Space Cop is when. Uh, one of them goes up to Rich Evans in, like, a hazmat suit and just immediately, like, just knocks him over on the ground and he just acts like, a, like an upturned turtle and starts screaming as he, like, runs away with the thing that he had. Like, that would have... That, that was funny. I think it's an optical illusion. I don't think you can actually get to it. We can actually... Uh, no, maybe you can actually. That's a Star Wars sound effect. There is actually a good chance that he's going to come after us. I don't think it is. No, that's not the same sound. Yeah, yeah I'm not I think, getting any I think it's, it, yeah, it's, a, it's a set distance. So I think that was all the game, but that was still fun. Yeah, that I think that's a demo too, so I think they're going to be making more yeah. out of it. You dead man. I saw the I'm that you sent me. <laughs> Spirity fucked herself, of course. Fuck you all. It was worth it. Nice walk with the shooty gun. Somebody get on my ass for that. Alright, so. Um. I found a really stupid game. So this is probably going to be complete AIDS. Is it porn? God, I hope not. If it is, it's going to be the weirdest porn we've done. Yay! Oh, I don't uh, have that clip. Minuteman needs to send it to me.